Hey y'all, I'm back tonight. I'm just gonna make an easy dinner with some sausage and um, some seasonings and pasta. I'm gonna turn my stove on and I have some sausage here. This is our own pork from the butcher that we grew on our own land. I. I thought it a little bit in my microwave because I didn't think ahead of time today and get some meat out before church. So I'm just going to brown this up. Won't take too long. And then once this is nice and brown, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I do next. I'll I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. I have some petite diced tomatoes that I'm going to pour in there. I'm only going to pour in about half the can right now, just to kind of gauge what I need. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of oregano. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we'll just see. I'm gonna cook some noodles. I have some water getting ready right here in this pan. I'm gonna turn it down. And just let it cook and simmer. And then as soon as my Noodle water is boiling. I'll get that going. I'm just gonna put a little, I have some pink, pink Himalayan salt here in my grinder. I'm gonna just put some here in my pasta water. I'm gonna add some pepper in this. guys been doing today I got up and went to church um, nowhere else I'd rather be on a Sunday morning people that know me here locally our church is an hour drive from us each way so I feel blessed to be able to get up and go every Sunday and came home, took a nap, um, I've always taken naps ever since my kids were little and it's my lifeline. <laughs> I do like it a lot, and I think it's a way that I manage my stress is by sleeping. I know everyone has their own. So this, um, hi. So my sausage was kind of um, greasy this time. Um, they add grease obviously to it to for flavoring, but I. I didn't want all the grease, so I drained it out. I have a grease jar over here that I drained it out, and then I used a napkin just to kind of sop up the rest. So there shouldn't be too much grease in here. Um, 
you can cook any type of pasta. You can do um, noodles, shells. Um, you can do bow tie. You can do penne. Um, I just have shells in my pantry. And this is a 16 ounce box. I think I'm only gonna cook half of it. I think this is enough of the tomato in there. Um, it's just kind of a little sauce that you can put over the noodles, you know? And so I think I'm gonna do this and then I think I'm gonna go see if I have some rolls. Um, I think I have some Mrs. Cubison's rolls in my shop in the freezer. But anyway, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get that going. And once the pasta's cooked al dente, um, to me, pasta should not be mushy and falling apart in your mouth. It should be nice and firm, but soft. I mean, I don't want crunchy noodles at all. But al, de al dente is firm, soft noodles, um, but they're not mushy and gonna fall apart and break apart, but they're not crunchy by any means. So you just kinda gotta test them. And so anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna see if I can get some rolls and cook these noodles. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, y'all, I'm back. So the noodles are done. I'm gonna go drain them and then add them to the sausage. But just a little tip, if you put a wooden spoon on top of your boiling noodles or water, it won't spill over. And it has to be wooden, and yes, it works. I use it all the time. So let me go drain these real quick. These are the rolls I make, Sister Schubert. They're yummy, they're quick, they're easy. And on nights like tonight, it's just been a rainy forecast, overcast day, and you know, you just get in those kind of moods. I didn't prepare anything. So, gotta do something quick. So anyway, those are cooking in the oven. Yeah, two minutes. And, will you put these in the freezer, please? out of the oven real quick. You just put some butter on them and it's so good. Yeah, you just do. You just rub them with butter and cook them 8 to 10 minutes on 350. And there you go. So Let's see how we what it tastes like here. Yeah, I I like to add even more butter on my roll. We talked about this at the church today. Butter just makes everything better. So I've got a roll, and I've got my noodles and sausage here. Quick and easy. Sausage can be salty, you know, it is pork and it tends to be salty. 
And notice I didn't put any salt in it. So if you're gonna use garlic, or if you're gonna use onion, make sure you use the powder and not the salt. Use onion powder and not onion salt. Garlic powder and not garlic salt. Or, and I did not add any salt to, to it. And this is kind of even still salty. But um, our sausage is seasoned, and that's why. And so, anyway, but it is delicious. And so, try it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Bye. You say prayer. Oh, it's for the tomato.